What's good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm going to show you guys the best way to edit breaths. Combat, this is a banger, huh? Alright, so I have my session open right here. This is by 1K Vaughn. I'm going to play it out real fast. I was lit back then, now I'm lit. <laughs> Get a nigga touch, catch a flight, no ditty. <laughs> Niggas could have got me gone. Alright, dope. So just from what you guys can hear right there, the breaths are a little bit loud. And the thing is with music is when you really hear something your ears are going to keep attaching onto it so imagine it like like when you see a certain color car a certain model car when you're just like driving out or just walking and you're just always seeing that you're like damn that's a yellow hummer i keep seeing it you feel me all of a sudden it's everywhere that's how i feel breaths are so if the breath is not controlled in in the in the recording i've and the engineer doesn't do something with it i feel like it caused the listener to just focus in on that breath sometimes and it just it just it's not like all the time it just happens here and there there's a lot of arguments to it like i know in singing and stuff like that i feel like um it does like certain breaths do evoke emotion and stuff it does um just help enhance certain phrases and stuff and sometimes that big <gasps> breath really gives the artist that extra like emotion you feel me in that phrase so i feel like it's not a bad thing to have breaths i just feel like sometimes we need to control them and that's where i'm getting into this today so i'm gonna show you guys the best way to edit these breaths and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the breath that you want i was lit back then now i'm lit so there's that little one right there. I just feel like it sounds a little unprofessional if you left that extremely loud, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and just lower it with the clip gain. Boom, I'm gonna do like 14. It all depends on your audio signal, how it sounds, everything. I'm gonna right click right here. I'm gonna go to clip gain and I'm gonna go to copy. This is some game for you guys. So I'm gonna go copy and I'm gonna crossfade these two right here. I'm gonna play it. Back then, now I'm living. <laughs> If that crossfade function isn't coming up for you, make sure you have this highlighted right here. It's the super tool. Back then, now I'm huh, getting it. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Boom, boom. Huh, niggas touch. Now, a couple things. One reason why we don't just bump, bump, just take it out like that is exactly what I was saying earlier about emotion. I feel like if we could lower the breath a little bit to still have that human quality in the vocal, that's dope. But if we take it out completely, it gives it like a robotic type of sound. And I feel like that's just not, I don't know, sometimes it takes away from it being human, you feel me? Otherwise, we would just have like an AI type of thing, you know what I'm saying? Another thing is the crossfades. So the crossfades help to where when that main gain of the vocal goes into the lower gain, it's not just going bop, boom, and just like dropping all of a sudden. It's able to go and then kind of give it a nice little like, and then come back into the vocal, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm litty, huh? Get a nigga touch, catch a flight, no diddy. Uh, that too, right there. I'm gonna lower that, but I feel like that helps with the emotion a little bit. So we're gonna raise that up a little bit. Flight, no diddy. Uh, niggas could have got same thing right there. No diddy. Uh, niggas could have got me gone if they ain't want. Now that's a big one right there. We gotta go there. Boom, boom. Me gone if they ain't want hella shitty. You a crash if you miss. Awesome. And that's like my favorite trick right there. I feel like you, all you have to do is grab whatever you want to edit. You want to command E it to edit, command V to paste it. And that's going to always paste the clip gain. So that's the dopest part about it. All right. Awesome. So that concludes the tutorial of how to properly edit a breath. Got you guys. I hope this really helped you guys out. If you guys need any free presets and templates to help speed up your workflow, please check the link in the description. It will help you so you can save time and focus solely on your creativity. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Instagram at combat underscore K. I'll make sure I have a link to my IG below. And if you guys can, please like, comment, and subscribe. That helps me out a lot so I can continue to help you guys out. Let's get it.